what is up guys it is your boy main mania and welcome back to another episode of mk mobile ladies and gentlemen we are back at the top of the dark queen's fatal tower for the very last time y'all very last time and this is our last chance our last 25 percent chance to get a copy of Nightwolf. Feels like I'm wishing on a star. We are against all odds, but that's what we're going for today, y'all. I would love a copy of Nightwolf and a, cup, a copy of The Last Puff or Soul Seeker. So that's what we're going for. Let's see what happens. We're not changing anything. No equipment changes, no build changes. Classic Liu Kang has been absolutely wrecking house. And we're going to see if we can let that rock for it. I actually just finally, finally, right? Huge wrestling fan. I'm kind of ashamed to say it, but I, I guess it, there's nothing to be ashamed about because at the end of the day, I didn't have the channel. Impressive. But um, I watched the Royal Rumble on Saturday, but I had to sign up for Peacock Premium to watch it because I wanted to watch it, you know, while I was on the go. I was going to uh, head out with some friends that night. And um, why am I wasting time with rain? I should just go straight for Liu Kang and just finish this off nice and quick, you know? Impressive. For some reason, I couldn't um, I couldn't get that last 5%. It's almost like my button taps just stopped registering. But nonetheless, because I bought Peacock Premium for the Royal Rumble, I was finally... Mm, oh my god, am I getting no freaking Aoife resistance? Don't hit me with a special, please. We're gonna tag out really quickly. I just want a snare. I want a cripple and snare, actually. I wonder if I could uh, get a double soak. They're reflecting mad stuff. I thought he was gonna hit me with a special there. Let's see if we can get a team soak real quick. Um, debating if I should, uh, no, blind is just the most frustrating thing ever. I'm going to block running, running low on time here. They're just wasting so much of my time. All right. So we got to get her out real quick. It's crippled. I needed to hit that. Thirty seconds, but well, we're blind though. Um, we're not gonna be able to do it. We're not gonna be able to do it, boys. Fourteen seconds to kill this she witch, and she can stun a hundred times over. Uh. Come on, baby! Woo! I didn't think we were gonna be able to do it. I'm not gonna lie. Blind is so stinking annoying. My goodness is blind annoying. Why did they buff blind the way that they did? It is not good times, y'all. It is not a good time. Being blind is such a frustrating experience in this game. They could tone that down a little bit. The original blind was garbage. It was not even worthy to be a debuff. It basically did nothing. But they reversed. They like completely made it the opposite. Now it's like devastating and you, bar you barely get a hit in. I think they can find a middle ground there. You know what I mean? Like I think they could definitely find a middle ground. But that being said, ladies and gentlemen, some of y'all probably haven't heard this in a while, but cross your fingers for your boy. This is not a good sign. This is not a good sign. But this is boys. We get the FX on Nightwolf in our final run. 25% chance that we got him three out of five runs or something like that. Can't be mad about it because now we have a brand another 
FX Diamond. So a huge, huge, huge shout out to that. Let's level him up to F60. This is music to my ears because it means I do not have to finish any more crypt runs for that final copy of Nightwolf now. That's music to my ears. No more crypt runs. I can take the rest of the week off and wait for the next season of the crypt. So I feel amazing about that. We already got our equipment piece and now we don't have to grind our butts off for more crypt runs. If I want to get some keys or potentially some equipment drops, I can still do those runs. But honestly, sometimes it's just nice to have a little bit of a break. Like sometimes we just all need that break and the crypt can be grindy. So I feel pretty good about that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's X60 our new diamond. Where is he? I don't know where he's at. There he is. Oh man, it's been a long time coming, man. I, you know, it's been a long time coming for this idiot. But here we go. X60, the homie Nightwolf. And um, yeah, guys, we got another maxed out diamond. Um, his feats of strength are looking really good as well. I think he only needs faction war wins, if I remember correctly. I don't play faction wars anymore. <laughs> There's no reward for it. So um, other than that, you know, your boy's always working on his feats of strength. Everything done except for faction war wins. I have at least 15 to 20 diamonds in the same boat where all they need is their faction war wins. But I, there's just no reward for playing faction wars. It's just, you know, you can only do five battles outside of survivor mode and you do a survivor run. If they're not a bonus character, what's the point? And then you do a bunch of survivor runs and you go up against hackers 24 seven. And the rewards are just god awful. I mean, I, just, I still don't know how they haven't reworked these rewards, but the faction wars store has been barren for a long time. We all have all this stuff maxed out. They do nothing for us. The consumables are ridiculously overpriced. Honestly, they make no sense to do. And then you look at, you know, what the rewards are for the seasons. And, you know, it's it's no surprise why it's a dead game mode. I don't believe in grinding for legend. I think it's a waste of your time. Grandmaster, I also think is a waste of your time. I think the sweet spot is master. I think you should aim for champion or master based on the amount of time you need to dedicate and what the rewards are. I just don't think you need to grind any more than that. It just it's not worth your time. You know, you have a 10% plus 27%. So you have a 37% chance for a diamond. But you have a 63% chance for a gold. This is master. You know what I mean? So it's like once again, they need to revamp the system, the reward system, the store. It needs an overhaul and maybe they're working on it. They just may be working on it, but time will tell, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so as I was saying before at the beginning of the video, I'll just refresh my quest real quick. Uh, I ended up getting Peacock Premium so that I can um, so that I can Watch the Royal Rumble, which was pretty awesome. Uh, very unexpected surprises. But I finally got to watch the Undertaker's documentary called The Last Ride. And that was really refreshing to see, man. Such a monumental character in wrestling lore and wrestling history. And um, it was really dope to see the other side of the camera. You know, that's kind of what content creation is in a nutshell, you know, like you see the guy on camera, but sometimes you don't see the person behind the camera, you know, and the person behind the creative work um, and the entertainment. And it was really cool to see The Undertaker as himself, as Mark Calloway, as this performer who strives to, you know, entertain the audience week after week. And honestly, has been putting his body through hell to give the audience what they want every year and to make his boss happy and just to do a good job and be dedicated to his work and to his craft. It was so refreshing to see that, you know, it was like it was really refreshing to see the Undertaker in his natural element and talking about his journey 
to retirement and walking away from it all. And even just him as a father, as a husband, and wanting to do more things with his family and spend time with his family, which is so hard as a creator or an entertainer in general, because they're always traveling. They're always working out. They're always on the road. They don't really get to do normal things. You know, they don't really get to do normal things with their family and spend normal quality time and lay on the couch and just watch TV together and watch movies together, documentaries, series, you know, they don't get to do these things because they're always working and their job, it becomes their life. You know, their job becomes their life. So it was really dope to see that documentary. It's called Undertaker, The Last Ride. And just seeing how dedicated he was to just continually giving it his best until the end. It's just really motivating to see that level of work ethic, that level of dedication to your craft and to, you know, your your professionalism and the business in general. It was it was really dope. So if you guys haven't checked that out yet, check it out. I thought it was a dope watch. Shout out to all my wrestling fans. I know we haven't really gotten a chance to catch up yet, but let me know what you guys thought about the Royal Rumble. Let me know what you guys are thinking about for WrestleMania. There's so many exciting things coming up, y'all. Y'all know the deal, man. As always, if you enjoyed today's episode, make sure you show it some love. We got in our final run, our final copy of Nightwolf. He's been maxed out. And now it's time for a new Crypt Week so we can keep building our collection. Ladies and gentlemen, show the video some love as always. Uh, other than that, I don't know if I should spoil it here. No, I'll make you guys wait for the next episode. Show this channel some love. Like, subscribe. You got the join button. You got the thanks button. And I'll see you guys next time with Main Mania.